Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One from Benzino who recently spoke on the no neck death from Doomsday part 2. And Benzino looks to have had enough of the teases to the point that he's willing to go neck for neck. And we'll get to more on this in a bit as it seems Eminem really struck a nerve as you'd see. Today we also have more from Kanye West who recently spoke out about streaming services messing up the launch for Vultures and also the criticism geared towards him and his wife on social media which we'll get to later. And today we'll be starting with the Super Bowl halftime show and the controversy surrounding Asher's performance with Alicia Keys who is married to Swiss Beats and since Asher has a history and if you don't know some still accuse him of destroying Kiki Palmer's relationship after he serenaded her during his Vegas show a while back. So music fans were patiently waiting for something to happen during the Super Bowl performance and this opened the floodgates on social media. Mm. That stirred viral posts like these. Swiss Beats got a bit Asha's bomb, right? Memes like these also blew up on X. And Swiss Beats stepped in to do damage control since he was getting clowned in millions of posts on social media. He posted this on IG. Y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium? Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. Congratulations at Usher and my love Alicia Keys. That song is a classic. We don't do negative vibes on this side. We make history. But the people don't care. Boosie believes Asha needs to apologize. At Asha, enough is enough, bro. You need to apologize to Swizz. She's married, my dude. I know that wasn't planned. And this has got people revisiting Charlie Murphy's skit about Usher. I know Swizz Beats already deaded any drama, but I don't care what nobody say. That dude Usher is a habitual line stepper. Laughing emoji, Charlie Murphy told us best. Things like escalated to the point where, you know, my man got too familiar and I ended up having to whip his ass, man, you know, because, you know, he would step across the line. Habitually, he's a habitual line stepper. <laughs> And Mason Cameron shared your thoughts on this on the It Is What It Is podcast that's in line with word on the internet. Alicia Keys, she, she did her thing too. I don't know how Swiss felt about that hug at the last part, but it was a great performance. I was gonna bring that up. He's aggressive with people's yeah. females, man. Huh? Yeah, is it? I it, just spoke to Swiss. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah, I shouldn't even pray about. for real. <laughs> Yeah, that shit yeah, just yeah. going behind that man, yeah. wife. That's his wife, right? Yeah, and and he got a look on his face, a devious. He knew it was a he knew it was a performance, so he was like, "We performing." I don't know what he gets out of this. <laughs> I just got a thing for being. With he people. got that. But Kiki Palmer decided to fan the flames on social media with this post: "We love you, Usher." all day and since Asher is credited for destroying her relationship with her baby daddy she's got the internet shook right now as people are going viral with takes like there's a type of ish that make you want to abandon the child and the mother boy that escalated quickly and this is a wild tweet from Kiki Palmer who looks to be taking cues from 50 Cent when it comes to trolling because Kiki Palmer's ex was out on social media a few days ago lamenting about fathers who abandoned their kids due to lengthy custody battles only for her to tweet this about Usher. And back on topic, just before the Super Bowl performance, Usher's Confessions album was certified 14 times platinum in the United States, which makes it the most certified R&B slash hip hop album of all time. And check this out from Usher speaking on Confessions. I think you almost, you set the trend with that Confessions album of um, being one of the most transparent artists in history. Yeah. Uh, well, you. I have Eminem to thank for that. <clears throat> the honesty of hip hop and yeah. what Eminem was saying on his records it motivated me like, yo, if he can be that honest. Moving on to the next point, Benzino was recently on Drink Champs and from the initial trailer, things weren't looking so good for the rapper pushing 60. Benzino! 
man. Dude, it's a savage that. You're killing your butt. I, I, I don't Benzino see it. invented the, the hip hop awards. awards. Yes. Period. Periante. Let's make some noise for that, goddammit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So loud. Hey, hey, hey. It's a long game. It's a long game. I got a few Tui moves. You got a few Tui moves? I got a few Tui But they, they said they took one down because you was out there wilding. Like, it's, 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 it's acting, it's acting. Nigga, fuck that nigga, man. Huh? Huh? Yeah, what we doing? You yeah. like Eminem, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Everybody, Shannon Sharp don't got a neck. Like, Shannon Sharp's neck's big as me. Yeah, Y'all you, say nothing to Shannon Sharp. You do it out there. You say nothing. I got this. I got this from the flea market. <laughs> but I want to ask you. Allegations. The, the, the transgender. I'm a fucking gangster. Oh, really? I don't Sit want down. No more. Well, I don't know. want no one. That's it. It's done. Where it's done. Boy. And from the get-go, the trailer already kicked off the roasting session. A user expanded. Dude got no business on this show. And some are wondering. Bro drank that cop trying to show off and got blasted. And that turned out to be the case. As when he addressed the new neck this from Doomsday Part 2, we saw an inebriated Benzino challenge to go neck for neck with another man. You just want to talk about my neck. I got a f neck. Every, everybody has a f <laughs> Show me your neck. Show it's me your neck. It's with the f headsets on you. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Everybody, Shannon Sharp don't got a neck. Like, Shannon Sharp's neck's big as me. Y'all yeah, say nothing to Shannon you Sharp. You're going after everybody. Yo, you know Shay Shay? You been on Club Shay Shay? Well, this nigga's neck is as big as mine. Right. Y'all say nothing about him. Y'all going neck for neck? What the fuck? Y'all going neck for neck? You and Shannon Sharp. This is bad because I, because cause they mother like me and they sisters like me. Yeah. And I put my dick in they mother. Whoa, 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 whoa. And boy, this was painful to watch, as many believe he basically proved Eminem's point. A user expands, he does look necklace, to be fair, laughing emoji. More, he just proved Eminem's point, loudly crying and skull emojis. And more, he's showing us his neck, and the neck still wasn't there. But some believe the fact that he got invited back on Drink Champs is all thanks to the Eminem drama. Look what Eminem did for him, now he's on Drink Champs. And now we wait for the full interview to drop on Thursday. Moving on, Kanye recently spoke out about the mix-up on streaming platforms when vouchers dropped. As while it wasn't on Spotify at first, Apple Music also took it down for some time before it was back up. And speaking with TMZ, he put the streaming platforms on blast. Some of the streaming yeah. platforms removed you. We number one. Right. We're number one, you know, everything that they did only helped us. I like it. Remove us. I like simplification. Streaming platforms is bullshit to the artists anyway. Really? Spotify would give us $500 million between all of us and say working them out. But Kanye had more for the critics who have been blasting him for posting lewd pictures of his wife. And Kanye pretty much said, don't like it, don't look, as he took to IG. I'ma post my wife as much as I want, bro. It makes me happy. Some people don't want you to be happy. They want you to make them happy. I decided to make myself happy and I'm happy with that. Yo, I just wanna tell everybody I posted my wife three times on purpose. You understand what I'm saying? No. So what I'm saying is, I delivered the album. Then people still in my comments talking about, why are you posting your wife? Cause she make me happy. That's why y'all happy with the music. Cause I'm happy. You understand? So don't never say nothing negative. If you don't like my page and don't like what I'm posting, go f yourself. Seriously. Leave me, leave the king the fuck alone. I don't care, bro. I'm gonna post my wife as much as I want. Go post your wife on your fucking Instagram. And he took this video for some to realize that she's not some hostage. After watching this video, I am convinced they are in this together. They are both conscious and intentional about what they are doing. His wife seems to be happy with it and to be honest, seeing them laughing together made me realize they are in this together. If they are happy, then who are we? That will be all for today. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.